shall reopen the meeting at uh, 3.18. And we move straight away to agenda item number 10, which we probably, I'll open up for discussion, but probably it's uh, just an item to be taken as read, which virtually says that we're not going to, well, recommends that we do not join the appeals received on the proposed Bay of Plenty Regional Policy Statement. Does anybody want to comment? Or Mr. McLeod or any councillors? Um, just simply, Mr. Chairman, that um, y you've, um, you've basically put a, a submission in um, and there's nothing that's cutting across that submission, so that's why we're not recommending that you um, put any appeal in. Okay, so there's a suggested resolution. Could I have a mover that's moving? Uh, Councillor Kirk and seconding. Councillor Johnson, all those in favour? Say aye, aye. aye. Number 11 is uh, proposed change 5 to the Hawke's Bay Regional uh, uh, Policy Statement. And that's also, I think, we'd be taking as read. But I will open to the floor and again, Ms. Comment, if, uh, oh, you wish to... Uh, no, no, Cara is just here for, for questions in case okay. you have any. Okay, that's right. No, somebody just po pointed her out to me and I'll give her... So, uh, do uh, councillors have any questions of any staff or any <coughs> issues in this agenda item? <coughs> there being none, do, is there a uh, mover and a seconder, please, that we approve the attached submission on proposed change 5 to the Hawke's Bay Regional Policy Statement? Councillor Hickling, Councillor Kirk, all those in favour? Aye. Aye. Thank you. And Cara will remain here for the next two items. Cara hmm? is yep. going to stay yep. here for yep. the next two items. Right, agenda item number 12 is adopting the Southern Settlement Structure Plan for notification uh, for public submissions. So. This is an item that you've already workshopped. Yep, we're just going to get to that. So, this is the structure plan that you've already workshopped. There is a suggested resolution here. Councillor Kepper is not here today, has put in an apology. Councillor Henderson is, and the rest of us are, and it's a district wide issue. Councillor Henderson, you wish to move it? Yeah, quite happy. Cool. Right. Okay. The suggested resolution on 12 bar 1 that the proposed Southern Settlement Structure Plan and Summary be adopted for notification of public submissions using a special consultative procedure under the Local Government Act. And it was moved by Councillor Henderson, seconded by. Councillor Johnson, all those in favour? Aye. Aye. Carried. So that will be a holiday to say. Yeah, uh, it's specifically designed so that it, uh, why we delayed it was so that we could actually grab the holiday makers during the. the so it'll be on the, the holiday makers' period. coffee table? It will be. Good. They'll be reading it with much interest. Okay, agenda item number 13 is for an ad hoc, ad hoc committee to hear the Southern Settlements, Southern Settlements Structure Plan. Again, there is a suggested resolution and um, that Councillor Henderson, um, Councillor Kepper, and we need, is it two more or one more, two, isn't it? Uh, just suggested one more, um, and uh, suggesting that you identify somebody to actually convene the meeting, and then the, the, once the, the uh, hearing committee is formed, they will um, elect their own, cha uh, their own chair. So we put an interim councillor in here, put that person as an interim chairperson and then they can appoint their own chair when they, when yes. they, when they meet. Yeah. When's, when's, what's the time frame for the meeting? And Cara, can um, you answer that? And I, I'm being a little bit presumptuous, but I'm presuming Councillor Henderson and Councillor Kepper have agreed and want to be on it because they're in this resolution. No, I'm, I don't have any problem with the principle, but it's my first knowledge of it. So my first question was... Well, that's actually, my question then. What does it actually entail? <laughs> four days, got so okay, so uh, this, is this actually to hear the submissions? Th this will be to hear, hear the submissions and deliberate on those and make a recommendation to Council as to well, whether or not to adopt they recommend back to TT Board? TT Board recommend up? No, it, it's a recommendation to Council. Okay. It's Council policy. All right, so Councillor Kepper, has he agreed to be on this, to hear this? You would think so. Um, this is our um, recommendation. No, uh, we're, we're, the reason why we've uh, put uh, Councillor, or suggested Councillor Henderson and Councillor Kepper is because it is around the, um, the, the, the ward. <laughs> um, we've also suggested that the... Um, well, I'm, I'm comfortable with that. I just, yeah. I just need to know that they're comfortable to be on it. No, I'm I've only got sorry. one here today that can answer that. <laughs> yes. and we have so we'll be presumptuous and we will presume it. Okay. And Councillor Henderson, you're comfortable with this? Yes. 
Okay, so does anybody have a nomination for a third councillor to be on this? Um, what's it named? An ad hoc committee? Okay. Councillor. So we've got one nomination at the moment. Any further nomination? We've got a nomination of councillor Barry Heckling. If there's no further nominations, um, I would have asked somebody to please move the resolution one and two and three, and that Councillor Heckling fills the gap in there in the resolution. So I move it for that, please. Well, Councillor Heckling will be the convener, as we just said, until they... Is that what you want, Laura? No. Um, you, could, you could have Councillor Hemmings and Councillor Keeper or Councillor Heckling as, as the convener. But is that an interim convener until they sort their own, or yes. that, that's the convener for the whole? No, it's a, just a convener until they sort their own. But it's, two, no, it's an interim board. Yeah. So it would be an interim convener. So who do I have as the interim convener, please? It doesn't say interim here, it says it nominated says convener, as a convener. And that's convener. what a convener is. They just yeah. start the meeting off yeah. and they will call for a chair. Yeah. And then from then on, the chair will be the. It's good to hear you speaking loudly today, Mr. McLeod. <laughs> I'm I can actually direct, hear you today. I'm directly <laughs> looking at you, and obviously you can hear. Right, I can hear you beautifully today. Um, so, who do I have, please, uh, to be nominated um, as the uh, convener? I nominate Councillor Hitz. I'll second that. Councillor Henderson, no further nominations? And that's the, and then when we meet, we actually decide who really is going to do yeah. the job. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we've done that. We've done that. Thing. It's like <laughs> what I do when we get a new council, the council that changes, so that we'll still be yeah. But I'll come in and give somebody the chance. <laughs> <Good time. Yeah>. So. <laughs> Okay, so we've got uh, Councillor Hickling is going to be appointed uh, to the ad hoc committee with Councillor Henderson nominated as the convener, and you can read the rest of it. It's uh, one to three. A mover, please. Moved by Councillor Kirk, seconded by Councillor Truman. All those in favour say aye, aye. aye. Thank you. Okay, agenda item number 14. Thank you. Agenda item number 14. I see we have Mick here. The timing of the flood the hazard plane. Now, knowing what I know from the first triennium, I hope this uh, timing moves into the next triennium. Yes. Good. Because it was contentious last time. <laughs> Suggested resolution that Council approves the revision of time frames for notifying a plan change to address flood, hazard, flood, flood hazards in the district plan with notification anticipated in late 2013 or early 2014. Anybody have any questions, Mr. Carroll? Would you uh, like to extrapolate at all on the agenda item? No, uh, hopefully all the information's in there. Those of us that were in the last triennium have been quite deeply involved in it. Okay, there's no further questions of Mr. Carroll. The suggested resolution, as I just read out to you, could I please have a mover? Move, Councillor Hickling. Second, Councillor Williams. All those in favour? Aye. 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 Mr. Carroll. Agenda item number 15, as you know, we've uh, this is a flood erosion uh, negotiation team. We set this up in the first triennium. It's taken time to actually get to the table, uh, and I believe we're fairly close to that table at the moment, to be able to actually do some negotiating with the perceived uh, exacerbators, etc. Um, in the last triennium, it was myself and Councillor Ormsby. So, obviously, Councillor Ormsby's not with us at the moment. Uh, we're going to have two. Is it two? Um, the only question is, no, because the, you're already on there, yeah. and uh, the chief executive is, is already on there, so so the only slot that's missing is Council Ormsby. Okay, so we're not relitigating the whole thing myself and no, the CEO no. staying. We need one more councillor, yeah. and that probably, in my opinion, should be from the southern end of the lake as it was before, but it's only an opinion, but I'll open it up to the floor. Well, I'm happy to put my name forward as well, depending on well, if the southern councillors want to stand or be involved. But I have been, uh, I suppose I have been in, in um, multiple discussions like many of you have over this. I'm sorry, Councillor Kirk? Um, I'd like to put my name forward. I'm not on a working party or anything as such at the moment, so I'm quite happy to put my name Something. Okay, well I've got two names but not actually been nominated at the stage, but I'll write them down, Kirk and Williams. I do reiterate what I said a, a little minute ago, I do feel myself that it'd be nice to have somebody from the TT board actually there from 
There's a, I think the first one's where we'll be talking about maybe our poor town around that area. Correct. Um, and I'm mindful of uh, parochialism. Well, actually, the whole lap. Hmm? It, 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 it well, I realise it's for the whole lap, okay, but I do realise that well, the first one on the table is going to be a Murray Kurutau. I'm pretty confident of that, unless I'm wrong, Mr. Carroll. No, the, the focus of physical works at this stage is Thank definitely you. on. Curatel. And who um, pays? And at what percentage each person pays? It's great. And, and we've got some broader discussions around how we'll approach funding around the balance of the lake. Over to Councillor Henderson. Um, yeah, I'm less concerned about the geographical scope who represents folk. Um, I'm not from a main board because I've done quite a bit of research and read quite a bit about this in the background. I'm not sure other councillors have too, so I'll throw my name in as well. Okay, well, what I'm going to do, if we've got three names in the head, I'm actually going to ask for nominations, please. And if there's more than one nomination, I have to put it to the vote. Uh, is that, am I doing that correctly? Yep. Yeah. Thank you. Um, I'll keep all your names. <laughs> so, please, have I got any nominations? Uh, you know there's three willing people uh, to go on it. Is there any nominations, please? Um, nominated Come. Councillor um, uh, Kirk. nominated by Downard. Is there a seconder for that nomination? Yep. John. Councillor Johnson. Any other nominations, please? Nothing? If there's no further nominations, I will, uh, um, we will appoint, council appoints Councillor Kirk, nominated by Downard, second by Johnson. All those in favour? Aye. 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 Thank you. Carried.